today I'm going to show you how to make a game in my favorite game engine, Microsoft Excel. So let's get into that. So you might be thinking, oh, Excel isn't for games, right? But, but you're wrong about that. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a game just like this one using Excel VBA. So first thing, just make a new Excel file, open that up and go to your developer tab, go into Visual Basic. All right, so that was my project from earlier. Make sure you're in your project and um, just click insert module. All right, so we have this module one inside of our project. So this code is declaring the um, get async key state from the user 32 library. Um, so this function is just determining which uh, keyword is being uh, pressed. All right, so our main game is going to be inside of here. Uh, so we're going to set application.displayAlert to false um, because otherwise I keep getting this warning uh, whenever I press the down or up arrow. So this will help fix that. Okay, so our player is going to be a red rectangle. So that's why I did. I set the color and then I set the position of where it's going to spawn. Uh, now I'm going to create two, um, two walls that are going to try and uh, attack our player. All right now we're going to make our uh, wall two. Okay, so we set the position of uh, two green walls. You can see these are RGB values. So 255, it, these should both be green and our player is going to be red. Um, all right, now we have a few more things to declare. Okay, so our score is going to be inside of cell 1-1, one, one, and uh, when we start, game over is going to be set to false. All right, so we're, we've created a do loop, and inside of here is all our game logic. So the loop's going to keep repeating and repeating and repeating until uh, we get game over, and then it will exit, and the game's over. All right, so I'm just declaring top and bottom of the player. Uh, one weird thing about VBA, if you're not used to it, is um, adding is actually going down. So, so we have to do player top plus player height to get the player's bottom. So it's a bit counterintuitive that you have add adding is actually down and subtracting is up. Okay, so since this is in the do loop, we're constantly updating. Uh, all of these positions, player top, player bottom, wall bottom, wall top, wall one, wall two, um, and also the score is constantly getting updated in cell one, one. Um, so the next bit that we have to do is write the um, player uh, collision, which is definitely uh, a bit complex. Okay, so quite a bit of logic going on here. Um, first thing you got to know is if... Um, if these conditions are true, then uh, we had a collision, with the player and the wall. So game over is true. We get a message box, game over, and then we exit. And it's the same for wall one and wall two. Um, so let's go through these one by one. We'll do it for just one of these because it's the same. Uh, it's just this is wall one and this is wall two. So uh, first we have player left plus width. So that's going to be the right side of the player. Um, and if that's greater than or equal to wall left. And uh, player left is uh, less than or equal to wall left plus wall width. And uh, the player top plus the player height, which would be the bottom of the player, is greater than or equal to uh, wall one uh, top and uh, player 
top is uh, less than or equal to wall one top plus uh, wall one height, um, then execute the um, condition. So it's quite a lot of logic. Maybe look at it yourself. Um, it took me quite a while to to get this to work properly, uh, but it works. So okay. So a couple of things. Uh, first of all. Our uh, wall one left every time this loop runs, it's moving uh, minus 0 0.1, so more closer and closer to the left towards us, uh, towards the player. And then the other thing is, this is if uh, the wall one left is um, more left than the player, then that means that we uh, pa the wall didn't hit us, and we want the wall to respawn. So then the wall gets uh, respawned uh, 600 uh, points to the right of the uh, player. And then it also, let's have it respawn um, at the um, player's um, y-axis. So it'll be the player top, and we'll have it spawn slightly below, 10 points below. And then the other thing is to make it get harder and harder, we'll have our speed increase. And then also, since we passed it, we get uh, one more point for our score um, variable. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing now for our wall two. All right, so we have our wall two now. So I changed up the positions a bit from wall one to make the game more fun. Uh, also, if you want to, you can add some randomness uh, here. Uh, there's uh, rand functions in uh, VBA, so can make it so the player never knows what they're going to expect where the wall spawns and how fast it goes. It's our get async key state 38. This is our up arrow key. So when up's pressed, we're going to move the player up a little bit. All right, and our get async key state 40. This is our uh, down arrow key. Okay, so just add this do event. So it lets Excel process everything before looping and then just add this uh, loop until uh, game over is true. Um, and uh, once it's not true, we'll stop looping. And last thing is just end your sub. And, oh, we already have an end sum, so don't double end your sub. Um, and we should be good. All right, make sure to save your work. Save it as a Excel macro-enabled workbook. This is very important. If you don't save as this, you'll lose all your work. Next thing you'll want to do is just insert a button. Um, and we can name our button. Uh, start game. And then click Assign Macro. And uh, this was the one we just made, Game Engine. All right, press OK, and let's run it. All right, and you can see our game is working. Um, these blocks are definitely a little bit slow, but let's see if they, how much they speed up once they... So you can see they just passed in, it respawns, and now it's speeding up, and our score is 1. It's definitely getting harder now. All right, game over. So I got a score of seven. So it looks like everything works. The collision, the movement, uh, once they're to the left, it, it stops. Or I mean, once it's to the left, they respawn to the right. Uh, so very, very cool. It's uh, actually not too hard to make a game in Excel. Thank you for watching. Let me know what your high score is.